Hello everyone, my name is Spanner and welcome to Don't Starve. It's a game about survival in the wilderness in a very strange world. And it's actually a very fun game. I've been playing it for a while uh, during the beta. And now that the game is released, I thought maybe I could uh, share some knowledge with all of you and make some sort of a walkthrough maybe although there are still many things that i haven't experienced in this game this game can can be quite extensive at um at some parts and um okay um enough rambling let's uh let's just start a new game and let's see you can see here we have several characters to choose although first you only start with Wilson uh, Unlocked, which is the gentleman scientist, and his special attribute, uh, each character has a special attribute, this one can grow a magnificent beard. Uh, we also have Willow, the fire starter, Wendy, the bereaved, Wolfgang, the strongman, WX-78, the soulless automaton, Wickerbottom, the librarian, Wes, the silent, and this one is new, I still don't know who it is, um, I believe you can only unlock it if you complete adventure modes, which is something that I have, have never done before. So um, let's begin with Wilson, since he's the default character and Growing a magnificent beard is amazing. Okay, we'll begin with Wilson. Uh, you can also customize the world. You can choose um, the number of um, certain um, resources, carrots, berry bushes, uh, number of touchstones, the world size, and so on and so on. There are several stuff that you can customize here, but um, We'll go with the default for now. And okay, let's begin. Okay, so now we're generating the world. Inserting Wilson's beard, this is really important. And here we go. Okay, so here we are in this world, and we were brought here by that guy, which is named Maxwell, and I believe he is a demon, and it trapped us here. So we, we begin by walking around, collecting resources, I just picked a berry bush over there, uh, not the berry bush, I picked up some berries, here we can pick up some saplings, saplings allow us to make tools, oh, some pawns here. Well, just one pawns. We can fish there and maybe get some frogs later in the game. But for now, let's collect stuff. Collect some more saplings. Over here. Let's pick up some grass. Grass is also very useful. To create traps and make rope. And berries, of course, you can eat them. So, you can see here, um, in the top right corner, uh, this is the current day. Uh, so, we are currently on day one. Let's pick up these carrots and these seeds. So, we are currently on day one. Uh, this uh, yellow part is the, um, is the duration of the day. This orangey bit is the duration of dusk. You still have some light at dusk. And the dark bits uh, co correspond to the um, to the night. And during the night, you have to make a fire, otherwise you will die, killed by horrible creatures of the night. Let's pick up this mushroom. Mushrooms um, replenish your hunger, uh, like so. You have um, with Wilson, you start with 150 uh, hunger and um, 
Well, of course, when it reaches, reaches zero, you start losing health. When health drops down to zero, you die. You also have some the sanity here, which begins at 200. And the further down it goes, uh, you start experiencing some very weird things. And that is a gobbler there. Still can't do anything about him for now, so let's leave him be. We will also be able to hunt down these rabbits later down the line. Let's focus on getting some more resources. Let's see, where are we? Let's finish exploring this um, grassy bit. Maybe along the coast here. Let's go south. And let's see, here is a blue mushroom. They won't come out during the day. And mushrooms generally... Um, generally they're bad, bad for you. They replenish your hunger, but I believe they take down a bit of your health. But there are ways around that. But for now, um, let's carry on. Go all the way here, on the coastline. Got some more grass, and here's some flint. Okay, now I think we can create our first X. So it only takes one flint, I could have made one earlier. So we can chop down these trees. And get some logs. So we can make a lot of stuff, including a campfire. To survive the night. And we'll also be able to cook food. Okay, so now you see, it's getting late, we have entered um, dusk. And at dusk, um, several things happen. Uh, well, it gets a little darker. And, um, well, for one, all rabbits uh, return to their holes. Um, Frogs disappear as well. Frogs usually appear around ponds and they'll return home at dusk. Not birds though. Birds still come around trying to eat my seeds. I don't appreciate that. Let's chop down some more trees. Trees, of course, have um, several stages of life. Um, we have these small trees, which are only worth one log. Uh, these larger... Ah, here we go. Uh, this is a medium tree. They're a bit more durable than the smaller ones. And they drop two logs. And here's also a pine cone. And these are the largest ones. They drop three logs. And take a lot more time to... Um, to chop down. Let's get this one as well. You'll be needing quite quite a bit of logs. And trees of course are renewable. Uh, you just need to replant them using these pine cones, like so. And they actually begin in this uh, newer sapling form, which I believe is part of the latest updates. Let's get this one too. And here you see our X is losing durability. And okay. We only have 10% left. Okay, here is a roads. Generally you run a bit faster while you stay on roads. Okay, and it's getting ready for night, so we make our first campfire here. Okay, let's chop down this tree as well. This should completely break our axe. And there we go. Let's also pick up this sapling. And now we can make a new axe. Let's also pick up this grass. Okay, so... Let's cook up some carrots here. 
and replenish a bit of our hunger. Let's also cook some berries. You can eat these raw, but I think they um, they fill you up more if they're cooked. Let's see. Um, okay, there are a lot of things we can't do yet. And to do them we need a science machine. To make a science machine we need uh, one gold nugget, four rocks and some logs. We have the logs, we just need gold nuggets and some rocks. And they're usually found uh, by mining some large boulders. So we, we need to find some of those. For now we wait. Okay, this campfire is getting really low but it should hold until daytime. At least that's what I'm hoping. And here we go, day two. Let's continue on our gathering missions. Pick up another mushroom. And let, let's strip this area of resources. At least until we get the full stack of twigs and grass. That should hold us for a while. More saplings here, and another carrot. There are also these flowers. Uh, you can actually eat them, but I think they just uh, give you one point of health. And if you pick them up, you will also regain some sanity. So I'm at 180, pick one flower, and 185. So if you find yourself um, with low sanity, you can just start picking up some flowers. Okay, a lot of berry bushes here, and a lot of carrots as well. Oh, and there is a savanna biome here. There's also a lot of stuff there which we can use. Okay, we have a full stack of grass, stacks at 40. And some berries and carrots, and some more of this flint. We'll need to make a pickaxe soon, once we find some rocks. Let's see. We've, uh, we have explored quite a bit, and when we get some rocks we can also uh, create a fire pit which is a permanent um, campfire. All you need is to provide some source of fuel. Oh, and I start pick, picking up some grass again. Oh, never mind. Let's just continue picking some grass up. Let's venture forth into the savanna. I'm ah, here is a boulder. Let's see. Okay, we don't have um, two pieces of flint. So we can't break them yet. Let's see if we can find some over here. I don't think you can usually find flints on um, on the savanna. So let's stick to the grassland for now. Or maybe head out into this forest. Don't eat those seeds, those are mine. There's some more seeds. You can actually eat these. If you find yourself um, struggling for foods, but they're usually better employed um, in farms. You can actually create some farms and plant them, and you'll grow some vegetables, which generally fill you up more than just seeds. Another mushroom. Oh, there we go. I think I've explored the grasslands completely. Let's check out this forest. Pretty empty forest. Hardly any trees here. Let's go along the coastline. Mm, okay, nothing really of note. Let's pick some more twigs. Okay, let's head into the savanna, see what we can find. A good place to set up your base camp would be either near a pig village, 
or some beefaloes, uh, since they are good sources of manure, which you need to create your farms. Okay, there doesn't seem to be anything over there, and we have already entered dusk again. Ah, here's some flint, and now you can make a pickaxe. Great. Let's start mining some of these. We can get some rocks from these and also some pieces of flint, which will come in handy to make some more pickaxes and other tools. I don't believe these drop gold nuggets anymore. I think it's another type of boulder with some golden lines on them. Yeah, I think those are the only types of boulders that drop um, gold nuggets now. Oh, there's a wormhole. Okay, this is a wormhole. You can actually... No, we don't want to jump on it. Uh, these will usually take you... Well, not usually, they will take you to another another part of the map. And I believe they cost some sanity. Because jumping into uh, that scary thing over there is not a very sane thing to do. Let's make another pickaxe. Yeah, definitely no gold nuggets here. We need to find the other type of boulders. Let's uh, investigate this area to the right. Anything here? No. And we will have to place our campfire soon. At least until we find a decent spot to call home. Uh, let's go north. Ah, this... There may be some potential here. But for now, placing a campfire. Placing a campfire. There we go. Let's mine this up. And let's... Roast some carrots. Let's see, these should bring us back to full hunger. There we go. And let's make another pickaxe. And as you see here, um, food items have this. Um, uh, green, um, this green bar behind them just uh, steadily going down. This is their um, uh, their um, expiry date. Uh, it continually goes down and well, it starts at green, which you can safely eat them. Then uh, when it's about half, it goes to yellow. They grow stale. I don't think you get any hunger back from them, and at red they go bad, and they'll actually do bad things to you if you eat them, but uh, a sane person wouldn't eat us um, spoiled foods, and when it goes down completely it turns into rot. 